I can't think of a more out of touch story than Scott Boris, agent of Juan Soto, who's going, who just turned down a four hundred and forty million dollar contract offer from the Houston, uh, from the Washington Nationals. And again, Scott can, has said that there's a lot of fugazi, you know, smoke and mirrors about all that, whatever. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't read the fine print in it, but him saying essentially that Juan Soto. <laughs> had to fly commercial that the Nationals didn't send him private aircraft, didn't charter a plane for him to get to the All-Star Home Run Derby. I can't think of something that fans would probably say, oh, you know, any anything other than get out of here. GTFOH with that stuff. We all know in this, I, mean, I guess that's what we've, we've reached the point in, in the 21st century where the court of public opinion, which is what always happens when a player needs to be re-signed with an organization and a city that's fallen in love with them, right? Again, I have this piece of paper on my desk since February 28th that has now, uh, just today on July 21st, become a relic. It's over. over. Point. It's over. The Kyler Murray agent missive of February 28th on Kyler Murray stationery saying, what gives Arizona Cardinals in a letter written to the fans to basically win the battle of public opinion in an impending contract fight? Now the court of public opinion is trying to be swayed by an agent saying, ha, ah, the temerity, how dare this baseball organization not fly my client private to the all-star home run derby for which he would swing the bat for three hours and win $1 million, which I can tell you would cover the flight multiple times (laughs) himself. (laughs) Right. You know, you can bet on yourself or he's got, you make $17 million this year. Scratch the check. Then fly yourself. If you're dying to fly private, right. like, if, you can afford it. If you can't, you know, take your TSA pre-check. Clear situation. Clear, might, yeah. But don't you find it's weird if Use every other team eyes. does it? Huh? Don't you find it weird if any, every other team does it? So I mean, if the Astros do it, you know. They had multiple players in the game. Yeah, you know what I mean? But if, if one team does it, great. Then they will be able to use that in free agency saying, why don't you come here? Come here and we'll take care of you. We fly our guys private. I mean, yeah, it's it's a bad look for the org. I mean, What's right after he, he says no to their contract, and then it's like, okay, cool. Now get yeah, your schlub girl away. Commercial, Not just schlub, like everyone else. No, I'm just it is optics. Like if you want to go there now, you're going to be like, these are things that I think players will take into consideration. Was Juan Soto in seat 19D? He, <laughs> like we he said swing, yesterday, he, he, didn't he swing probably the bat. was. He didn't swing the bat like he was in 19D. Oh, you know, man, he, he had, that was good. the last second flight. I, I doubt he got first. I could not think about a more tone-deaf way to try and win the battle of public opinion. Hey, Nats fans who watched Bryce Harper leave in division. Hey, Nats fans, when my guy signed somewhere else, don't blame my guy. He had a fly commercial. Come on, man. You know, go. it just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't resonate. It doesn't work. It's a, it, it becomes a pox on everybody's house. You know, certainly you make 17 million already. Not ever. Amazing. Uh, according to Bob Nightingale, 20 minutes ago, the yes. Nats have begun fielding preliminary offers for Juan Soto. Seven teams in the mix. Seattle oh, Mariners. Oh, they have the names? They have the teams, yeah. Uh, Yankees? One of them? Yankees. Dodgers? Dodgers. Red Sox? No. Ooh. Ooh. I don't want to give up the young guys. Um, You said Seattle's in, huh? Seattle. Okay. San Diego? Slam Diego. San, Diego. Oh, San Francisco Giants, St. Louis Cardinals. And the New York Metropolitan. Hey. <laughs> Sandy Alderson is the Wags. Wags. <laughs> <laughs> They're ready. Without the pole. I, was, I don't think he parties like Wags. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Seven teams in the mix. All right. Here we go. Three NL West. Wow. Here we go. 
So one of those teams is going to be the ones winding up with Juan Soto in two weeks? Appear so, maybe, you know? Wow. Price, if the price is right. Red Sox aren't in. You got a problem with that? I mean, what do we give up? I, mean, I don't think we have the. I don't think we have enough to get to get them. So then you you got to be in it to win it. I would much rather re-sign Xander and Raphael Devers. Did you see <laughs> the story out of the Boston Globe? No, you had mentioned this. What what happened? That, I mean, it's made me upset. Well, I mean, Devers confirmed it that the initial conversations between the two sides, mm-hmm. the Red Sox offered a comp for him in their estimation, and it was Matt Olson. And I read that, like, he's a terrific player. He is a good player. Matt he's, Olson, you mean? The guy, Matt Olson? Yeah. Like, what, a $180 million contract that the, the, that's the that's Braves right, yeah. bestowed upon him after they parted ways or they stopped negotiating with Freddie Freeman? Or vice versa. I don't want to get sued. I want to get in the middle of all that. Um, eight for one sixty-eight. Right, eight Matt for one sixty-eight. Come it, on, man. That's exactly right. If I'm Jesus. if I'm Rafael Devers, I'm like, look, he is a very good baseball player, and his market value is. I mean, you know, that's it's a heck of a contract, but that is way low. Way lower than what I'm thinking about. I mean, and and the, the whole idea though is that if Devers hits free agency. The the industry sense is that his contract would begin with a two, right? Like two hundred million and change. Yeah, like seven for two hundred. So maybe like that. not the three that he's looking for, but it would definitely start with a two, not the one that Matt yeah, Olson's one. contract starts with. And I read that I'm like, uh oh. Well, Devers is only twenty five. I mean, and but the sense is that he won't finish most of his contract playing third. That's why they're competent with Matt Olson. Oh, that D- he would, a DH. DH first. Yeah. Like he'd take a more poppy role in things. Probably smarter long term. You know, long term, which is health. why they, they were setting his value at that. <laughs> Careful. You're not allowed to curse. I know. <laughs> Don't, you, you mean. This Red Sox ownership is just so frustrating so, on uh, so I, many levels. They may get it done yet with Devers. Still time. I mean, I guess. But I read that. But oh, man. I don't want either one to go, Xander Dude, or Raffi, but I want to keep Raffi. you got to get in on Soto, no? I guess not. Uh, if you're not paying bets that money and you're comp yeah, endeavors exactly. with Olsen, then I guess you're, you're, you're they have a philosophy that they will pay, but they're not going to go on these com- these, these 7, 10, 12-year well, contracts they're, they're, yeah, they're not going to go 3, 4, 500 exactly, million. They, exactly. They're not in that game. No. They proved that with bets. Yeah, they're not in the 12 year, 350. They're not in that dollar. game. Yeah, the they're... Red Sox are not in that game. Which stinks because they have lots and lots of money. <laughs> Lot, like lots Is of it. Is that your professional assessment? Like lots of it. Like they own Liverpool, the, the soccer club. Like, what are we doing? I know that. Among other, Among other I mean, others. They just bought the Penguins. Like, like what is happening? 